Hello all. So in today's day and age, uh, we use many applications. We use Facebook, we use Amazon, we use Uber. We know how uh, tangible products like a house or a car are built. But most of us who work outside IT, we might not know how IT applications like Facebook, Uber, Amazon, how are they built? We don't, we might not know that, provided we are outside the IT field. So that's going to be the premise of my speech. How are IT applications built? So just like traditional production, uh, it goes through multiple phases. The very first phase is the planning phase. So this is the phase where there are two broad entities in every IT project. Every time we build an application or enhance an application, there, there are two major groups, I would say. One is the business and one is the IT. So during the planning phase, the business and IT, they come together and then they come up with a plan. So they'll talk about the business purpose. They'll talk about the business goals. So what is this business purpose? So why are we building this application in the first place? So why are we enhancing this application? And what is the business goal? What should we do? What features and functionalities must we add? Uh, what is the success criteria? And then they'll also discuss about risks. They'll discuss about assumptions. They'll discuss about budget. Is it going to take a million dollars, two million dollars, etc. And once they discuss about all these elements, they capture it in a document named project charter. So that is the first place for, uh, planning. The next phase is the analysis. So analysis is the phase where the business analyst would go sit down with an end user. Now let's take a banking application for example. So there are multiple modules within a banking application. One such module would be, let's take for example, a mortgage loan module. So in this case, the IT business analyst will sit down with the mortgage loan officer and figure out how mortgage loans are given out. Provided that's the module that they are enhancing with new features and functionalities. So by doing this, by interacting with the end user, the IT business analyst himself or herself will become an end user expert. And this expertise or this knowledge is captured in MS Visio as a business process flow. So this way, now the business analyst has that end user expertise to gather requirements and to enhance that mortgage loan application module and to recommend features and functionalities. So that is the analysis phase, BA becoming an end user expert. So the next phase is the requirements gathering phase. So this is the phase in which requirements are gathered. So in order to build something, we need to have the requirements in phase. So the IT business analyst will sit down with the uh, business team and gather requirements. So let's take Amazon.com for example. I'm sure that at some point in the past, the IT business analyst from Amazon would have asked their business staff, hey, what do you want to build in here? And the business staff might have said, we want to build a cart in the case where one of our customers come to our website and select a specific book that they want to read. If they click on it, it has to go into the cart or a column in a table. And then that those requirements will go into a document named business requirement document. Now this is the requirements phase. So the next phase is called the design phase. So now in requirements phase, we cover what needs to be built. In design phase, we cover how the module is going to be built. The how-to is covered in the design phase. Now say for example, you drive to a Starbucks, you order a cappuccino, a hot cappuccino. Now that is a requirement. So the barista might uh, make that cappuccino using a coffee machine or the barista might just do it manually if that's even possible. That is the how-to, that's design. The same science applies to IT. The IT business analyst will sit down with the technical team and then they'll come up with the design. So this business requirements is converted into system requirements. Now we have a design, the how-to document is ready. And this how-to document is called system requirements document. So that is the design phase. So now we know how it's going to be done, how it's going to be built. So the next phase is the development phase. 
So this is the phase where the developers would refer to the system requirement document or the how-to document and type chunks and chunks of code. And these code in turn will become the cool card feature that you see on Amazon. There's multiple other features that we use, right? Or the alarm feature that you see on your phone, etc., etc. Now, these are all chunks and chunks of code. Somebody is actually having some coffee and coding, referring to the system requirement document. So, this is the development phase. And then comes the testing phase. Just like traditional production, once we build something, we have to test it. And this card feature that we might have built, or any other feature that we might have built, gets tested. And that is the testing phase. If there's any bugs, these bugs are resolved. And the next phase is the deployment. Now the feature is tested. The new module that we've built is tested. Now we give it to the hand, we will give it in the hands of the end user. So that's deployment. So this is how on a very high level an IT application is built. Thank you.